Joy here. This is the day. This is the day we've all been waiting for, June 19. This is the last day for you to get your photos up on Instagram of your fit, nice top. You can't see my bow. I need to be farther away because you can't see my bow. <laughs> now, you remember the other day I showed you this top. Let me take a sip and put this down. Ah. Uh. You remember I showed you this top. It's called the Therese top. It's like page 189 in the big book. And remember, it had that great big fat tie on it. Well, I narrowed it down to one half. It was eight inches wide. Now it's four inches wide with the hem in the bottom of it. So it's a little bit less than that. It's probably three and a half now. or three and three quarters maybe. But I was downstairs a minute ago talking to Jerry and the tile man walked out of the bathroom and he looked at me and he said, wow, that is a beautiful top. <laughs> so my husband didn't notice, of course. I could be wearing a snake around my neck, he wouldn't notice. But anyway, this is how it turned out. Sleeveless, v-neck, v-neck finished with a facing. And I did a little video to show you how I did that. And I'll do it in a separate video because this isn't about my garment. This is about you and your garments. So you want to see them? Let's go to Instagram to hashtag fit nice joy t and let's see what everybody's made since last time I showed you. Are you ready? Stay with me. All right, we're going to start out with Jane Gilson. This is her second fit nice top and how darling is it? especially with this special trim. It looks like she added that trim after she made the blouse and it's actually just part of the print. I just think that's so pretty. She says she hasn't had a haircut since February. I wouldn't cut my hair ever if it looked like Jane's. <laughs> okay, now this is I Heart to Sew. She's made some shirts before too. Very nice. Judy says mistakes are design opportunities. So true. <laughs> She stitched out the lace sleeve cap, but messed up the one side of it. Oh my gosh, how cute. That is a brilliant idea. And so she put the lace inside her top. I love that. Here's another one I heart to sew. This lady sews as much as I do or more. Here's Kathy Hart. Very pretty print. She's got a band at the bottom of hers. These are all the Fit Nice Simple Tee Master Top Pattern. There's a nice top. This is Nora Smith. This is Wendy in a Dondi top. This is the easiest one. I probably made six, six or more Dondi tops. They always turn out good. Here's Wendy again. This is another one. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Here's one. Now here's one with the dolman sleeve. Oh my goodness. Look how she matched the center of that. This is a seam, you guys. Look at how she matched those stripes. She must have done um, Judy Kessinger's glue, glue trick. And now I've lost her. Let me start over. Where was she? Here we go. I'm not very good on Instagram, you guys. <laughs> okay. Let's see who's next. Oh, my gosh. How cute is that? How cute is that? Very cute. That's the seaside top. And, oh, what a pretty print. I need to know where you guys get these pretty prints because I have not seen that one anywhere. That's gorgeous. That's Charlotte. Scoop neck variation. Very, very pretty. That's one of my favorites so far. I love the colors. And there's another one, Charlotte again. I think everybody's made more than one of these. And there's a pretty print, too. Hello. I don't know this lady's name, but she calls herself Gad Lil. Very, very nice. Wonderful fit. Here we are. She made another one. Ooh, beautiful. Very nice. She could wear that with every color under the rainbow. Who's next? This is blank. This is a ghost. What's going on? Here, ooh, look at that one. Okay, Patty, I would like you to do a tutorial and show us all how you did that. <laughs> that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. The color and everything. And here's another one where they match the center. Oh my gosh, that is just perfect. Those look so expensive when they're made like, oh, that is cute too. I just can't get over how good these tops are turning out. 
And you all remember this is the easiest pattern in the whole wide world. A front, a back, and a sleeve. That is gorgeous. It's called a peekaboo top. I want to make it beautiful. Here's the Miranda. Now look at that. I've been wanting to make that one too. And how cute, how cute. Look how it curves here and then it curves there. And then she put the three buttons at the top. I love that. Beautiful. That's called the Miranda. And here's another. You guys are making all different ones. Now for those ladies that haven't done this and you don't have the book, all of these styles come in the book. And in the book are directions and um, also a video that goes with the directions. This is in the book. This one's called the Tammy Tube Top. Turned out absolutely gorgeous. There's one. That's the Dondi. The fit is just lovely. On Oh my gosh, how cute. That's another seaside and she added buttons to it. Oh, fabulous. Y'all are as addicted to this as I am. I can see that. Very pretty. Very pretty. Nice print. Now that was, um, I forgot to get her name, but you guys saw it. This is Pam Varnell, and she made a white t-shirt. I wonder if she makes her jewelry like I do. And this is K Craft. Says, not my best fit, but it's wearable. Yeah, I'd say that one needs an FBA in it needs an FBA because you can see here on the side that it wants some fabric squished up on both sides. But you know how to do that. I've shown you guys how to do it. Your v-neck is beautiful though. That's a hard v-neck to do. I know how to do that. I learned it on Craftsy. And here's another Dondi in red. I heart to sew again. My gosh, look, she's made half a dozen tops. Couldn't resist another Dondi. Such a joy to have a simple pattern. Yes, it really is. There's a pretty, pretty turquoise one, pretty necklace to go with, and the fit's perfect. Maybe a little bit of FBA might be needed on that, but it could be the way you're standing. Oh, sleeveless, sleeveless. Now that is hard to do and get the sleeve perfect. That looks really good. And a stripe. Stripe is hard to work with for me because I'm different on my shoulders. But if you're straight, hey, make stripes all day long. <gasps> Ooh, fancy, fancy. That's a nice print. And look at the fit, y'all. This is Belle. Belle. And guys, I apologize that I haven't left you guys comments. I've been too busy sewing. But I just think your tops are all fabulous. That is fabulous. Very pretty with the white pants. That's just a plain t-shirt, front, back, and sleeve. And look at the fit. There's not a wrinkle, there's not a gap, there's not a anything. It's just perfect. And here's Bev Ann. Bev Ann with another top, and that's the fabric that I had, and I made a top out of. That fabric, well, mine like that, came from Hobby Lobby. Beautiful V, beautiful fit. Here's another one. I have that fabric. I think that's from Hobby Lobby, too. Bev Ann again, very cute. like the diagonal stripe for the uh, band at the neck. And there's another one. My goodness, this is Beth Ann number three so far, I think. I wonder if that came from uh, Hobby Lobby. And this is the Dolman sleeve, and look at how nice it fits her. Okay, here's Beth Ann again. She might win. You know, we should have a prize for the person who made the most tops. We really should. <laughs> I think Beth Ann, or I heart you so, one of them would be the winner. Maybe Jane Gilson. Another beautiful top. Aren't you ladies glad I told you about Fit Nice? Now there's a, a two-tone one. Now this is some style. Let me see. Probably my favorite, the Alicia. This is the Alicia with the asymmetric hem. Um, Judy Kessinger named all these tops by some lady's name. By whatever lady she saw wearing it. Here's a cute one. This is the one where you gather the front right there and then you put the little, the little um, tab to make a bow. I don't remember the name of that one, but it's really cute. There's a cute one again. I'm just amazed at how good this pattern fits every different shape in the world. There's another two-tone one. Very cute. Sleeveless. Stripes are darling. Aww. Very nice. Look at that dolman sleeve with the cuff. I wonder what one that is. My first woven top with Fit Nice. Okay, everybody, this is woven. My first woven top with Fit Nice, Dolman Sleeve Boxy Top made with linen. 
Oh, and it came from the fabricstore.com. That is just gorgeous. All right, I have to do that next. <laughs> oh, she made a dress. There's a dress. I don't know. I think it's just the plain t-shirt. And I'm, it looks like it might be the dolman, but I bet you she trimmed a lot out of that dolman. Had enough to make a simple skirt. Oh, it's a top and a skirt. Very cute. Very cute. Here's Dee Dee Hodge with a black one. A black one. Yep, she did the uh, Chanel trim on the neck. That looks very nice. And there she is again. She made a dress also. Now, how awesome is that? You cannot go to the store and buy something that nice. Ooh, and here's the pretty lady. This is the pretty lady. I'd love to trade her hair, but I'm sure she wouldn't want mine. <laughs> and this fabric's from Girl Charlie. I just told you guys about Girl Charlie. And the pattern's from Ellie and Max. So this is not a fit nice, evidently. My favorite tee so far. Love this one. It buttons down the back. I wonder what part's from Ellie and Mac, if it's the top or what. My favorite tee so far. Yeah, I can see why. It's gorgeous. The skirt might be from Ellie and Mac. And the top's probably the fit nice. And here's another one coming down the stairs. Another whole outfit. Very nice. That was Belle. Or Belle was talking to her. We gotta go through this quick because my battery's gonna die if I don't hurry. Very nice. I love the black with the with the print. That's beautiful. I want to do that too. Another Dondi. A Dondi in stripes. Very nice. Here we are. High heart to sew again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she got a closet full of these. There she is again. Another Dondi. Beautiful. There's a one with a uh, pretty um, border, border fabric. Those always turn out really nice. I heart to sew again. Boy, she's whipping up three a day, I swear. <laughs> now you know, you get to go on the drawing one time for every top you made. Here's I heart to sew again. This is the trees top. All right, this is the one I just showed you guys, this purple one that I'm wearing that has the, um, the bow, the tie on the side. I wish we could see the whole shirt. Wonder how her ties turned out. Okay, maybe it was the one with the triangles. Here's I Heart to Sew and a Dondi. I gotta hurry through these, y'all. There's a really pretty blue one with rolled up cuffs and a beautiful neckline. And there is Belle again. Beautiful fabric. Got pants to match. Those are a nice outfit. And here's a pretty blue one. This is MJS for, I can't even tell what that says. My Fit Nice 2 with Sure Fit Slacks. Okay, she's got Sure Fit Design Slacks and the Fit Nice Top. Thanks, Joy, for the inspiration. You are welcome. Beautiful background you had there. Woo, here's one that makes your eyes go crossed. <laughs> Black and white checks. I have some that do that too. Very nice. Pretty top. Goes great with your black pants. Oh, look at him. And here's I Heart to Sew again. I'm pretty sure she would win if we gave a prize to the one that made the most tops. I bought a black like this with all the ruffles. Dolman sleeve top. Here's another Donnie. Hey, that's my material. Y'all remember my blouse I made out of that material? She found it too. Yeah, that's the Donnie. And this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite so far. This is Jillo. Simple tank top with fit nice system. And look at the fit. You can't get better fit than that. It doesn't exist. That's just great. And here's Belle again. You ladies are on fire. Wonderful print. And there's just a solid blue. Simple pullover teeth. Beautiful neckline that lays against her chest. Great job. And here is a burgundy one. This is Wanda. Sorry I didn't get the name on that last one, but you guys can see the names here on my screen. I think I have the camera set up so you can see that. Very nice. Another white one. Hey, I highly recommend this Fit Nice uh, Master T pattern. What, what does she actually call it? The Master Top pattern, I think she calls it. It just turns out so good, no matter who makes it. Look at that one. Really nice. I'm going to have to hurry through. There's the seaside top. 
absolutely love the pattern. Yep, Angie. I think we all absolutely love the pattern. And there's another one. She made two. Ooh, pretty red. And there's another one, Laney Lois. And there's pretty blue print with a gorgeous finish on that neck. This is hard where these V's cross over. I tried to do that recently. That is not easy. And there's a beautiful print. Nice fit. Hey, who's this? Who is this lady? Good Lord, look at those turtles. Look like they're about to attack her. Yep, we, now I think these are repeats. We've seen all these, you guys. These are from before. So that's the end of. That's the, this was my favorite from before. Remember the seaside dress? Oh, I want to do that so much. Especially with that fun, fun shoulder. Okay, that's it for Instagram. I'll be back in a second. Oh my goodness, wasn't that an amazing surprise? I'm just speechless at how good every single top turned out. It's like you can't mess it up. <laughs> I saw a couple that could have used an FBA, but remember, Judy Kessinger doesn't use an FBA in anything. She says it's just a full loose top and you don't need one. So, hey, don't listen to me. <laughs> if you don't want one, don't put it. Okay. Yes, this does have one. You don't see a bust dart in it, but um, it's there. It all went down into the bottom and then I ended up having to tuck the bottom in a little bit because it got a little full. And you can't see my ties now. But anyway, remember... Five winners. One winner will get the big book or the nine yards of um, French Fuse and Patternese. And the others will all get a one-year subscription to the Fit Club. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where you live for the Fit Club. The book or the, um, the Patternese and stuff have to be the U.S. only. So, sorry about that, but that's just the way freight is these days. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. I'm hoping that, I don't know, some new company will start or something and, <laughs> and knock all these freight charges back down again. All right, I'm going to let you go because we have to hurry, hurry, hurry. I don't imagine I'll get any more blouses made. You guys will probably make three more this afternoon and get them posted. <laughs> Each. <laughs> but I can't. You know the tile man is here, right? Um, did I tell you the tall man complimented my blouse? I couldn't believe it. Um, so, tomorrow, like I said, Saturday morning, I will get up. The tile man won't be here so I can keep my pajamas on <laughs> and go sit in the living room in my pajamas with my laptop on my lap and we'll do the random number generator. And when will I let you know? I don't know. <laughs> But I promise it'll be tomorrow or Sunday, okay? It'll be tomorrow or Sunday that I let you know. I've got to let Judy Kessinger know first. And then you'll have to contact me. And you know I have an email for all of you now. I made a separate email so you could contact me and it wouldn't get confused and intermingled with all of our business emails. And I don't really have any other kinds of emails. But <laughs> it's hard for me to keep everything separated and see them all um, if they're mixed in with our regular everyday email. Does that make sense? So I have a new one now and so I will let you know what it is and you can contact me there and then Judy will get your gifts to you. So congratulations. I'm super proud of all of you ladies. I don't know why you even watch me. You obviously sew beautifully all by yourselves. Or maybe you used some of the tips I gave you or some of the tips Judy gave you. I hope you did. So, I'll be back soon. Bye for now.